All right, we got the opening of a brand new cruise terminal. We have a new cruising opportunity for folks on the East Coast. We got a rescue at sea. And finally, we got the last updates for Hurricane Nicole and cruise ports along the East Coast. So let's get into the cruise news. Chris here with High Seas Cruising and welcome to today's video. All right, I want to start off, of course, saying happy Veterans Day to all of my fellow veterans out there and Remembrance Day for the folks in UK, Canada, and Australia. All right, so let's hop in here to the cruise news and start off with a new cruise port opening. So Royal Caribbean's brand new cruise port in the port of Galveston, well, it officially opened. Allure of the Seas, the first Oasis-class ship to ever sail out of Galveston, arrived this past Wednesday, loaded up her passengers, and is currently out sailing, which means more opportunities for cruises out of the port of Galveston. If you like to sail from that port, which I do, and we'll be on Allure of the Seas in January, so I can check out the new port, and of course, check out my first Oasis-class ship. Celebrity Cruise Lines. Now, they have released some itineraries for 2024, and one of their exciting things that they did release is that the Celebrity Edge is going to be sailing from Seattle, doing Alaska sailings in 2024. So if you're over on the East Coast, don't you know, haven't had a chance to get over to Florida to sail on one of Celebrity's Edge-class ships, the Celebrity Edge, like I said, will be sailing from Alaska in 2024. So it'll give people another opportunity to sail on Celebrity Class ships and one of their newer Edge Class ships. Holland America's Rotterdam. Well, they rescued 14 refugees for some rough seas this past Wednesday. And luckily for these refugees, the Rotterdam was there because she wasn't even supposed to be there. The Rotterdam had to stay out for an extra day due to Hurricane Nicole just happened to be in the area. Like I said, she wasn't scheduled to be there, was actually scheduled to be back in port. Luckily, the Rotterdam was there, was able to rescue the 14 refugees, brought them on board the ship, gave them some food, gave them some water, and of course, turned them over to local authorities once they were able to return back to port. So good thing the Rotterdam was there. 14 lives were saved. They were on a pretty rinky raft, tied together, styrofoam, pieces of wood, plastic the seas were pretty rough i got a feeling that you know that raft might have gone down had the rotterdam not been there so good job holland america and good job to the crew of the rotterdam and finally cruise ports there in florida along the east coast they are officially all back opened up the cruise ships that have been delayed can now begin returning into port disembarking their passengers and embarking the next sailings now keep in mind the majority of all of the next sailings, you know, through Miami, Fort Lauderdale, up to Jacksonville, you're gonna see some delays. The crew next, the next cruises have been shortened. Everybody affected should have already received an email because this is across all of the cruise lines sailing out in that area. And then once they get through this next round of cruises, all operations as far as cruise length, itineraries should all be back to normal in those areas. And hopefully this will be the last hurricane we see this season. I said it is the very end of the season. Nicole was kind of a late hurricane to come in, but hopefully that'll end all of the hurricanes for the rest of this year. We can just move into the holiday cruising season without any other itinerary changes, at least itinerary changes due to weather. And that's gonna be our cruise news video for today. Let's just a quick update. Let you guys know everything that's been going on out there the last couple of days. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a favor and hit that like button. If you haven't done so yet, do me a favor and hit subscribe. It is free to do so. Helps our channel grow. Let you know anytime we put out a new video. Hope everyone out there is having a really great day, a great Veterans Day, and a great Remembrance Day. And like always, we will see you out on the high seas.